Radical. All right, so I want to share a quick, quick story explaining to you guys one reason I'm a little bit behind on the channel this week. Mostly it's game stuff. Me, after acquiring that huge game lot, trying to get all that stuff ready. You know, imagine five, six hours just cleaning, testing games overnight until 5 a.m. in the morning, then having to go to work that next uh, midday. Imagine that. It's rough. It can be very, very, very rough. It can be. So that's why I'm mostly why I'm behind on some uploads the last couple days. But one reason was last night I had to take care of something, I had to handle something, but I didn't even really handle it. Hopefully I did. I'll explain. So I love this particular thing Nature Valley almond butter crackers like cracker biscuits, you know, two crackers and then almond butter in between. I love them. They're great, right? It's a, it's a great snack. I like to eat it with maybe some chicken. You know, it's, it's, it's nice. I like it. But I've been noticing last couple of weeks, the tips of these have been shooed off. Meaning I have a problem with a rat in the house. But it's not just that problem. I'll spoil it for you guys. Have a problem with a rat in the fucking Chevy Impala. <laughs> I'll explain. So, uh, I normally eat in a Chevy Impala. I don't think, you know, I'm clean. There's really not any crumbs that happen you know, under the seats. I'm really careful about that because I'm pretty clean. But one thing I leave in a Chevy Impala is some snacks. Those bars specifically. I leave them sometimes in the on the seat, maybe behind the seat. I leave those to snack on. Well, what happened was just to, just to prove that this silly idea of mine in the back of my mind that I have rats in the car was false. Just to do that, I left one of those bars in the back seat of the car for several hours, and then I was going to get back in the car, pick it up and eat it, kind of celebrating the fact that I was right. I mean, I was wrong. I was wrong about this idea in the back of my mind. Basically, I was just going to eat it, celebrate it, and put that silliness to rest. I get my drink. I get in the car. I pick up the bar, and I, I start to open it, but then I realize the tip of it is already fucking open. It's a goddamn rat in the car. A fucking rat. That's exactly what I said. I threw the bar across the car, and I was like, no, I got fucking rats in the damn car. <laughs> See, I can do with maybe like, maybe one rat in the house, maybe one, maybe two. I can handle that. I can, I can deal with that. I can take care of that at some point. I'll call, I'll call Dale Gribble from King of the Hill. Yeah, I'll take care of it. I can take care of that. But I just couldn't deal with it. I, I might still be dealing with it. I just, I, I had, I was at my wit's end. I was like, no, 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 no. Rats are not allowed in my car. Can't have that. I mean, imagine if I'm making out with a fine honey in the back seat, and there's a rat. I mean, that would pretty much be the end of any making out in the back seat. Or like, you know, what if the rat uh, slips in her butt crack? You know, she's like, ooh, ooh. You know, I'd have to play it off and go like, hey, 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 it's a toy. You like that? We're experimenting. You know, you like that? And then I just you know, pull the rat out and go, ha ha, yeah. Nice sensation, huh? I, I don't think I would be able to play that off. I'd just say it's a really realistic toy. It's like a little puppet and everything. Yeah, you know, I just talked about uh, rat in a girl's ass. Well, hopefully that would never happen. Um... That even surprised me. I'm like, dang, well, I went in that direction anyways. But, uh, yeah, so I just couldn't deal with it. And when I'm super focused, things get done. When I get angry and super focused, everything else goes by the wayside. So what did I do? I first did a, a Google search. How do you get a fucking rat out of your vehicle? Apparently, there's certain places in your vehicle that a rat can hide. They mostly would hide in the trunk, maybe up under the seating, 
uh, maybe near your airbox, which is insane to think that they could be chewing through a, an air filter. I, I don't know. I, airbox, right? Like, even I'm reading this, I'm just like, I, I can't believe it. I'm like, how the hell? I mean, it's a big vehicle. Maybe the rats couldn't, you know, if I had a Miata, maybe they couldn't stow away in a Miata. I'm thinking, that process, I do a lot of driving. So I was sure even if there are a rat that gets in the car, once you start driving down the road and you go to your new location, the rat's going to flee. But no, rats, rats are like ninjas, man. They just hide, and they come out of hiding, and then they get something to eat, and then they go back into hiding. Well, I'll tell you what I did. I popped the hood. I had some rosemary essential oils. I forget how I had, where I had rosemary essential oils. I think I got it for some weird kind of reason. But I had that. I have some apple cider vinegar. I mixed them up with some water and I sprayed up under my car hood and I sprayed near the air box. And then I take up the rear, uh, I take up my rear back seat, you know, the fold down part. And it's just the part where you sit down on. I took that up and I noticed a good bit of little rat droppings up under there. So then I realized, okay, this is not a situation where like a mouse just got in the car. No, no, this mouse has been here for a little while. And this mouse has been waiting for me to bring food for it. It's been living on these damn Nature Valley bars, you know. And part of me, you know, I can, I can respect this rat surviving in this vehicle. Still doesn't mean I had a plan to beat this rat's fucking brains in because I got like a little like a little mini like shovel like a handheld like type shovel because I was thinking to myself okay thinking to myself all right what happens if I find this rat I find this rat I don't want to use a hammer because a hammer is going to be too messy right? and I don't want to use anything bladed anything sharp because that's too messy I thought probably the perfect thing to kill a rat would be like a little mini, like, hand shovel. You know, just plop, plop. I thought that'd be, and some of you bleeding hearts would be like, oh, don't kill the, kill the rat, don't kill the rat. I mean, what should I do? Like, if I see the rat, hold some Nature Valley bars outside. Here you go, buddy. Here you go, buddy. But like, it's a fucking rat. I'll give, I don't give a shit about a rat. Cats don't give a shit about a rat. Cats will kill a rat, you know? But the bleeding hearts might, you know, have a problem with me, you know, killing a rat. That that is not where the rat is supposed to be. Even if you're a rat, you should realize you should not be in a fucking Chevy Impala. That's not a place for you to be. First thing I did was I made sure to vacuum up really, really, really good in the car. I made sure to, of course, not put any more Nature Valley bars in there. Take away the food source. There's no liquid there. Um, and then, like I said, I put down the essential oils. I put that in the air vents also, all up in the air vents. But I noticed in the rear, I put all my game trays. I have like these trays where I put all my games in. You've seen them before in the flea market stories. Um, I saw a couple little rat droppings in some of those. Mm-hmm. Because I keep them in there through the week. I get my stuff ready. I keep them in there through the week. I took all that stuff out. I pulled up the carpet from the rear. But I can't see into the wheel well where your spare tire would normally be. Because I had a system in there. And I put a, a big long board. Like a big long board. And I actually not glued it. But almost essentially like glue was what I put down there. Which is like Dynamat. So that's it wasn't coming up. But everywhere in there. Real good. I spray that. I spray that apple cider vinegar. Apparently, they can't stand apple cider vinegar. Uh, certain smells like peppermint can actually kill them. They breathe in peppermint, rosemary, the essential oils. I didn't have concentrated. I still had to mix it in with the other stuff, so it's not super concentrated. And I didn't see anything. Haven't seen anything today. And I'm being real careful. Being real careful, because like I said, the rats will actually chew through the the wrapper they'll chew through the fucking wrapper 
So what I've done is I actually have like these little cylinders where I have my protein powder and I'm putting those into those cylinders if I got to take them with me. You know, rats not going to be able to chew through hard plastic. That's not going to happen. It's almost like I'm laughing at the rat like, ha ha, try to chew through this, you son of a bitch. I didn't find the rat. I didn't kill the rat. But I spent two, three, two hours, about two hours cleaning out the car, going all the way over everything. At the time, I heard the rats don't like loud music. So I had my loud music playing in the vehicle, trying to do whatever I can to make this home not hospitable for the rat. And I kept thinking, damn, you know, if it's not one thing, it's another thing, man. It's not one thing, it's another thing. I'm just trying to get through my life. <sighs> Fucking rat in a car, man. I didn't know there's even a possibility, but I know that it's a serious problem. You can't have rodents stowing away in your vehicle because they can chew through wiring. You can have like a lot of things happen. So the last place you really want any rodents would be in your vehicle. So I'll say to you all, uh, number one, don't make sure make sure not to put anything yummy like almond butter or peanut butter. Uh, even if it's to your house, make sure you got it up. You got it in the refrigerator. You got it wherever you, you know, keep it away from possible rodents or whatever. In the car, if you do eat in a car, make sure that you don't leave any crumbs up under the seat. I, that was not my problem. My problem was, like I said, just putting the Nature Valley bars just wherever. Not thinking much about it. Like, you know, I'll just come and eat these later. Because um, not only we have a situation to where, you know, you might draw a rota into your vehicle, but food's expensive nowadays. So you're going to lose a lot of money on food. And, you know, uh, life is life is too hard for a lot of people. Li- things are too expensive to be foodi- feed- fooding, <laughs> to be feeding, feeding the rats. Um, but yeah, if you have any interesting rat-related rodent stories, leave it in the comment section down below. And hopefully none of you have this very same issue right now.